Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see how to quickly set up field service lightning in Salesforce. In order to quickly set up field service lightning in, uh, in Salesforce, first go to Salesforce setup and then enable field service. In order to do that, go to field service settings in setup and then toggle this field service button to on. Once you enable this, it will automatically create all the related objects for field service. I am using a developer edition org here and then I went here and then I have enabled this field service. The next step is you have to install the field service lightning managed package. I will share the link for this managed package in the video description. Once you have installed the managed package, open field service admin app, go to field service settings tab and then enable all the permission sets. If you are going to use it for community, then you can enable field service uh, permission sets for community users also. I'm going to test it as an admin agent, dispatcher and technician alone. I'm not going to extend this feature for experienced cloud users. So I have enabled all the permission sets for dispatcher, service resource, agent and admin. So once these permission sets are enabled, click save. After that, find an user and then assign the permission sets. Here I have assigned all the field service permission sets and license to this particular user because since it's a developer edition, I don't have um, uh, enough licenses to create multiple users. So I have created a set of uh, users. Uh, sorry, I have um, assigned all this set of uh, permission sets to one single user. Once these permission sets are assigned, the next step is you have to create a skill. So go to Salesforce scheduler, go to skills and then create a skill. Here do not uh, select any users or assigned profiles. These two options were mainly used for chat and omni-channel uh, purposes. Uh, for field service uh, uh, lightning uh, features, these particular things are not needed. You can just give the name, the developer name will be automatically getting populated. Once the skill is uh, ready, the next step is you have to create a service resource record. Go to field service app and then go to service resources tab and then create a services resource record. So I have selected the admin, admin user for whom all the permission sets were assigned. Make sure the active checkbox is checked. After that, make sure the skill is added for this service resource record. You can either click new button or assign skill button to assign the skills. Okay, so now the service resource record is ready. Next, go to operating hours and then creating create an operating hours. So this is the hours where the um, service resource record will work. So this is the time zone for that particular service resource record. So ne next step is you have to create a service territory. Go to service territories tab, click new and then you can create a service territory. When you create a service territory, you can assign the service resource. So one service resource can be part of multiple service territories and then select the operating hours. So when you, when you create a service uh, territory, these two are mandatory. Okay. So now service skill is created, skill, uh, service resource is created, service resource uh, uh, has a skill called electrician and operating hours was created. Next is service territory is also created. So this is how we initially set up the field service lightning. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a work order and then I'm going to create a service appointment for that work order. And then I will assign that work order and the appointment to the service resource called admin user so that we can see the Gantt chart. So next I created a simple work order called a test work order. After that, I went to service appointments tab and then I created a service appointment 
for that particular work order. So this is the work order for that I have created a service appointment. I have set the permitted uh, time, what is the due date, when I can start, when it is scheduled, when it, it should end and then I have set the status also directly to scheduled. Okay and after that I have clicked new and then I have assigned the service resource directly here. 90% uh, or 50% of the time mostly an agent, uh, a field service agent will assign the service resource record but it depends upon the business uh, requirement. Uh, there are additional features in Salesforce which can automatically assign the uh, service resources based on their capacity and availability also. Um, in the later videos I will definitely share that. So here I have manually assigned the service resource for this particular service appointment. The next step is to see the Gantt chart. Go to field service app and after that click field service tab. Here you will be able to select the territory. Uh, you can select uh, the New York territory which we created. So this, this was the territory which we created. So this is the service territory which we created called New York. Okay, make sure it is it, it was it is active. So once you select it, it will display all the appointments which are part of that particular service territory, and then you can see the timing also here. So we within a few minutes we were able to set up a field service lightning in uh, Salesforce and uh, view the Gantt chart. Thank you for watching.